Welcome to another edition of How to Fix It Yourself with Dave and Dave. Today we're working on a 2023 edition of the uh, Tacoma TRD. And uh, this episode, we're gonna show you how to put in heated seats in the front. So we're gonna be doing the driver's side seat. Uh, it's a powered seat, so it's a little more complicated than uh, a non-powered seat, but it's all basically the same as far as putting the heating element underneath the seat. Now at the same time, we're gonna also show you how to replace the factory uh, seat covers with leather seat covers. And so we're gonna be kind of doing two things at once, but because we've gotta take the seat covers off, we're going to go ahead and show you how to put the leather seat covers back on. So either way, you're gonna to have to take the seat covers off in order to put the heating elements uh, into the seat. So that's this edition. Now there's another part that we're gonna film uh, later, um, which will show you how to run electrical to the seats, but we're gonna split that off because we wanna show you how to do that in general for whether you're putting lights on or uh, trim lights or whatever other things you wanna do because doing running electrical is a little bit tricky if you're not uh, clear on how to do that. So let's get started and let's go ahead and get those uh, uh, heaters onto the seats and get those leather covers on. We're now going to remove the front seat on the driver's side. It's a powered seat. So we've already removed the uh, two bolts on the back and we've slid this back so that we can get access to the two bolts here in the front. And once you get the bolts out, then you'll need to tip the seat back so you can expose the connectors underneath it and be able to release those electrical connectors. Now there's three electrical connectors you have to dis, uh, disconnect and then you can pull the seat completely out of the car. The reason you want to be sure you get the seat all the way back is not only so that you can have better access to the uh, uh, electrical underneath when you disconnect it, but one of those electrical lines is going to be going to an airbag. And whenever you do anything related to an airbag, in fact, when you do most anything related to electrical in a car, if you're not really confident of what you're doing, be sure you disconnect the negative uh, post on the battery. So now that we've got it back, we can now go disconnect the battery. And, but if we disconnect the battery before we pull it back, you won't have power for the seat. I mean, just kind of one of those things that just, you learn. <laughs> okay. So the next thing that has to happen is we've got to get this uh, front plate off and it's got two little screws on either side. Now this is a real nice little tool for getting into tight little places like that and so we can just kind of ratchet it out of there. Oops. The problem is, is they just don't give you a whole lot of room. So now you want to take your uh, control levers off. Just take a body tool so you don't scratch up any of the plastic. And it just takes a hard pop on the top and on the bottom to take this one off. So is it, they just clip here and here. The bottom one here has a clip on the bottom. Again, you just pop that loose and, it, uh, and another one on the top. So you have to go to both sides to get that one loose. All right, so now that we've taken the small screws off of the front, we need to start working on this side panel. So we've showed you how to take the uh, actuator uh, knobs off. So now we need to take these two off so that we can start manipulating that panel around so we can start getting everything out of there. All right, so those two come off and now we have a lot more flexibility in terms of working on this and separating these two pieces from one another. So in order to get this front panel off, now that we can have a little bit of room to work here, you'll notice that they have hooks on the back side so they don't necessarily slide off easy. You've got to push up, that is you've got to push in this direction on each one of these to get it loose from in here. And you kind of have to do them at the same time. Well, you kind of work out your way around just whatever you need to do to get that loose, but that's how you got to get this off of there so you can begin to start working on the other parts. 
Now you need to get in here with a screwdriver or something and push on this clip and pop it down so as you can get at the get uh, this loose so you can finish taking this bar across this crossbar out of there. Now we're going to take the screw in the back. It's a little easier to do than the screw in the front. You have to really kind of push through the foam and the seat to get at the one in the front. But these two in the back uh, are kind of hidden, but they're easy to get to. Okay, after you get that screw out, you need to kind of pull it up and rock it and push it back this way. And when you do that, then it'll pop this alignment pin out of this hole in that direction so that you can take this whole piece out. And now you've got access to the uh, lower seat cover and the upper seat cover. Okay, you've got a body clip here that needs to come out. I've got a variety of body clip uh, uh, pliers and things. This is the one that works best when you've got a lot of foam there. So I just get it underneath and you can pop it straight out of there. And now you can see that we've got that loose. Now the next thing we've got to do is take off the uh, seat belt retainer so we can get this plastic piece completely off of here. So you'll notice that these are really tight. However, once you get it started, it comes off very easily. So we can just set that off to the side. That'll get this clip loose. After you push it uh, that in towards the front of the seat, uh, or the top of the seat, I should say, then you can kind of work your way up and it'll pop loose. There's a little clip right back here that it needs to pop out of and that's right there. So you need to get that forward so you can pop it up and that'll get it all out of there. Now you want to pull the these elastics off of there and come on get off of there and that'll fold this back around and it might have actually been a little easier to get that off of there had we done that first. So you might want to go ahead and pull that first and then it'd be a little easier to get that off of there. The next thing you need to do is you need to get this loose. I used a long pair of uh, needle nose pliers with a slight angle to them because you've got to be able to squeeze from both sides and uh, coming down at the top makes that a little bit difficult. The next thing is this has got to come off and there's a little tab in the back here you got to get your fingernail underneath this little tab right there to pop that loose and that'll get your, your airbag uh, wire loose. The yellow ones are always your airbags. Those are the ones you got to be real cautious about and careful about. You'll notice it's wound all the way around to go to the airbag side of this seat. All right, so for this style clip uh, for the airbag wire, you just need to rotate it and get underneath it and just pop the uh, connector down and then you just work it out from behind the uh, wire there and that'll get your wire all loose so you can now start working it through the uh, seat. Now this, this part of the seat is, goes to the bottom seat and so when you put the bottom seat on you've got to remember to fill, uh, push that wire down through some holder there to keep it all lined up nicely. Okay, to get these out You'll need to kind of get in here and push and rotate and get in between the bar and the clip and just pop down and get it out of there. So again, just get in between the bar and the clip and oops, almost, there we go. And those will just pop off of there. All right, so you've got your plastic kick plate back here, which kind of ke keeps you from getting in between these two seats. And you've got to just uh, come up here and just unclip those two and that'll make it loose. The other thing that does is that also gives you access to the uh, zipper, which goes all the way up the back on both sides. So now you can unzip the back uh, and just pull that pull that all the way up, do that on the other side, and that'll expose all of that area right there. Using that same trick that we used on the uh, bars back there, we need to take these clips off right here. 
So just get a screwdriver or something underneath it because that wraps around this lip right here. And then you just need to pull it out and around to get it off of there. So you've got two of those that needs to come off. So you now want to push this part of the uh, upper seat back in through between the two seats and pull it out on the other side. So after we get this through the bottom, we can start working it off the edges and just start working it up. Oh, okay, so at this point now we've got uh, some uh, clip bars that go here and here. And so we're gonna have to start working our way around to be able to get at those so that we can take out the take out the uh, clips that are right here and we'll work our way up and we'll do that on the other side as well. So there's the clip that we want to cut. You'll need a heavy duty uh, clipper. This is a, a small bolt cutter and that'll let that come loose. Then again you can just start working your way up and around. Pick up the next one. All right, so we've gone ahead and uh, cut all the hog clips up through here. It takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of time to work all, all our way up there and across. And we've also taken the first hog clip off of this cross piece here. And then the uh, cutouts for the headrest are just stretched around. So you just have to just kind of pull it out and around and just pop those off of there. So that takes us all the way to that point. We're now going to take out this last hog clip uh, here. On the, uh, we're going to take out the first hog clips on this upper and that last one there. And then we need to start disconnecting the stuff for the airbag. Okay, so we've clipped all the hog clips. We've cut all the hog clips, I guess I should say. Uh, you might need a pair of needle nose pliers to get all the pieces out or to help uh, get move them around to get the clips loose from the uh, wire uh, frames here. But be sure you get all of them out of there because it'll make your job a lot easier when you're putting it back in. Now at this point, we've got to deal with the airbag. These straps go into the airbag which, uh, holder which sits right under here. Uh, so we're going to flip this over and work on that. Now if all you're doing is putting in heaters and you're not replacing the seat covers, you do not need to mess with the airbag. But where we're going to be putting in leather uh, seat covers, we're going to remove these and show you how to do that. Uh, again, if you're not, if you're just putting in the heaters, you just need to get to this step and then you just need to reassemble it. And we'll show you how to reassemble it uh, after we deal with the, uh, uh, with the airbag. So now in order to take the uh, airbag out, you notice it's got these uh, fiber cloth retainers here and you're going to have to cut these your new seat uh, covers should, your, your leather seat covers, your new ones, should have replacements for these that aren't sewn together. So, but these are going to have to be cut. You've got a metal retaining rod here, and you've got, again, another set of uh, cloth retainers that hold things together into the bottom of the seat here and here. But you need to replace, uh, remove all of that to begin with. So, this one attaches to the frame. This one here floats, as you can see. Now, they look a little bit strange if you've not seen these before, but these are what they call an external torx. So it's an external torx uh, bit that you need, and this is a E14. So, so you're going to need to loosen both of those. At which point, then, you can now finish removing the uh, seat. So in order to get this clip off of there, which we have to have because it goes through here, and we've got to get this bar completely out of there, um, we're going to have to remove this screw in order to get at that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that screw and then we can rotate this down and out of the way a little bit to be able to pop that loose. 
Okay, so you get your pliers back in here. I'm using a right angle needle nose. Squeeze those tips, and then you can just pop that out of there. Again, these are the clips that you're trying to squeeze in to get that out of there. So it's a little awkward, but if a little perseverance, you can get that taken care of. Go for it. These feed up through the bottom. There's two of those. You just need to pull them out through the bottom. This whole metal bar that we just uh, undid comes out right through this right there. And then that completely releases your seat, from, your seat back completely from the uh, frame. Take this little black plastic clip out of there. So if you get your uh, clip pullers in behind there, you can then just take and uh, walk it right out of there. Notice it's, it's kind of got just this little Christmas tree part right there. You want to save those for your new seats. So go ahead and take it out completely and hang on to it. You want to pull the backing out as far as you'll go. You'll be limited because there's another bar that runs right through here with a bunch of hog clips. So before you start working on that, you'll need to come over here and pop these guys loose. Again, you'd use the same technique we showed you before. Use a screwdriver, just get underneath there and pop it loose. And go ahead and get them loose all the way around and that'll make it easier to get at those hog clips. So we now need to get the power block off here for controlling the seat. It's held on by three screws. You can pop the uh, uh, electrical connector loose, just like the other ones. There's three screws. You can see them and obviously know how to get those out. So we'll come back at you after we get this loose. So after we get all three of those screws out, this is what it looks like when you uh, take it out of there. It's just a, a little uh, control box. And just go ahead and set that aside. Okay, so now we need to start removing the hog clips to start getting the uh, seat loose. So the other day forced me to remove these hog clips. So I guess I'm gonna have to remove these hog clips. What do you mean the other day forced <laughs> me to remove the hog clips? <laughs> <laughs> all right, after you get all the hog, uh, hog clips uh, pulled and the seat basically loose, I have one more item. They have a strap that goes across the back here. Uh, the way that's originally put in is the, this bottom seat here is pushed completely out uh, and around, and then this is put around it. Now with the in, new seats coming in, they actually have ability to just uh, attach them here and here. So just to make life easy for ourselves, rather than try and pull that all the way out around here, we just cut it. And so we just cut it, and so now it'll release the rest of that seat and allow it to come out. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to start putting in the um, heaters. Now, this particular foam has a cutout here for the thermal switch, which goes right there. That thermal switch is important. It keeps it from overheating. And so we're gonna be able to tuck that back under there. Of course, the feed wire is going to go between the seats and out to the back, and then we'll feed it back under. We'll show that in a little bit. The um, way you align this, though, is you've got to have one of these uh, clear areas here. Okay, so right there is where we're going to cut. We'll cut just from the tape to the tape on that side. And you can see all the heater elements up here on this top area and down here in this bottom area. Or here, line up with a uh, place where you're going to uh, clip the seat back in place. Now this particular one isn't lined up properly for having one in the back and one in the front. So we're gonna just use the uh, hog clips and the bar in the front on this one and it'll line up right there. We'll slit it from here. We're gonna slit it from right there to right there and that'll make it so that it lines up with the two hog clip uh, spots there and there and that'll allow it to go. You wanna be real careful when you slit it again, you don't wanna hit any of these heater elements. And then we'll just tuck this uh, last little bit down underneath here in order to put that on. Then we'll be able to put the whole seat on. Now it's the same story for the one in the back with one exception. There is no cutout here for the, uh, uh, for the thermal switch. And so we're gonna to have to actually cut into the foam here and pull out a little piece in order to give some relief there so that's not a knot poking you in the back. And it's gonna 
make the thermal switch work just a little bit better. Again, when you put it in, make sure you line it up nicely. We're gonna line it up again on this top one. So it turned out that that indent wasn't quite enough for where the uh, thermal switch needs to go. So I did go ahead and open that up a little bit there for the thermal switch. And then I carefully cut the line right through here. Uh, hopefully you can see how that opens up right on top of one of those uh, clip bars that we're gonna need to use on that side and right on top of the, that side there. We've also got it even on both sides. So you might wanna measure if you wanna be really careful about making sure you're even on both sides. But I think we've got it. And so the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and peel the uh, tape off of the back, peel the uh, protector off of the tape and glue it on down. So that's the next step. So now we're gonna go ahead and peel the tape back. You'll notice uh, I very intentionally cut it just to the edges of the tape, maybe just a little beyond the edges of the tape because your connecting rods that connect all the heater pieces go through right here. So you don't wanna cut that. So if you cut those areas, then you're going to be uh, uh, disabling the heater element up here. So this is what creates that circuit, is these items right there. So now you got a bit of an issue here in that the slot's there, but you've got the connector bar clear out here. And you don't want to try and push down through there uh, because you know, you're going to stretch and, and create issues. So our solution, and you can use whatever solution you want, is I've seen people either just cut right through the connector bar up here we're going to do a little different. We're going to actually just remove the cloth up to that point and uh, then tuck this part down underneath the heater. So we're going to just cut the cloth out. And then we're gonna just tuck, and we'll do that on the other side too, but just to show you, then we'll just tuck that underneath like that and work it back across so that we now have it in place. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the bar came out right there at the edge. And so we'll do the same thing over here, and that way it gives us a clear run to put in the hog clips without pushing on or distorting the electrical runs uh, on either side of the heater pad. So we're now ready to put in the first set of hog clips to put things back together again. It's going to go right in here. Uh, this is the hog clip uh, uh, wrench uh, that uh, or pliers that's going to put that in. However, doing it by yourself with a hand uh, plier is very, very difficult. Now, if you're in a real shop, where they do this all the time, they have a pneumatic one where one person can just take and cram the thing down in there and uh, hit the trigger and it'll clip uh, together. So this is a two person operation. So we're gonna now put in the hog clips and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so that's how you put the hog clips in. So now we're gonna go ahead and clip the rest of the hog clips in, get the other one over here, run them down the sides on either side. Then we'll start putting the seat around the foam and we'll show you how that's done when we get to that stage. We've got the hog clips in on, the, uh, on this line here and up and down both sides. Again, we couldn't put hog clips in back here because we didn't have the right spacing on the heater but it really doesn't matter because there's a lot of items that go down around the edge of this that we'll show you in a little bit that clip underneath and pull this lower area real tight. So this one's gonna be just fine the way it is. Uh, so now we're ready to start pulling the uh, leather around the foam. Again, this takes a lot of uh, just sure, sure push and grunt. So we're gonna go ahead and go off camera here for a little bit while we get some of this on and then we'll come back and kind of uh, 
show you how it went after we get it on. There's going to be a bit of a uh, an issue going to, not an issue, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve on how to use these wraparound uh, stays to hold things onto the frame and when we get to that point we'll video that to show you how to get those on there properly because it's real easy to not do it right. All right, so we've got to get this over here. So you've got to take and pull it all the way down and roll it and tuck it and get it back onto that bar in that slot. And so you'll see how Dave here is rolling that and getting it up onto that bar. Once you get it, the first piece started, it works a little better on just kind of continuing on around. You'll have to compress that foam quite a bit in order to get that done. But Dave is definitely tougher than I am when it comes to stuff like this. So that's why we have him do it. <laughs> so there's three screws that hold the control uh, box on in order to control the seat. Uh, there's one uh, way up here, one way over here, and one down here. Now, you'll notice we had to cut some pretty big gnarly holes in here to get at those. You'll notice on the original seats, that if you look at those, they had some pretty big holes as well, which doesn't make a lot of sense. They were even bigger than the holes that we cut. But the point is, is that when this cover goes back on, it's gonna hide all of that. So when this cover goes back on here and you connect the uh, cables, that all of that's going to be uh, covered up and you won't see any of that. So just go ahead and make the holes. Don't try not to overdo it, but you know, make them plenty big enough to where you can actually get your electrical connected and your, put your box in place. So we're now going to attach the uh, heater to the uh, back uh, plane, back seat. Um, we're going to use this in area right here to attach to the, uh, with the hog clips here. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other one so we don't need to show it. We're going to slit it through here. Then we're going to recess the ends over here and tuck, tuck it under. The uh, regulator, the, the heat sensor right there, we're going to go ahead and open this up right here and uh, make sure everything lines up and then we'll glue it in, uh, pull the strips and glue it in. We'll cut this and then we'll hog clip that together. And we'll go ahead and hog clip all the rest of it together. Uh, you've seen how that's done so you can do it and uh, we'll come back to you when we are at that stage. So we've reconnected these straps that were sewn onto the bar with hog clips. That's the way this is designed. So they'll go right through this slot right here and connect back on the inside. Now we've already fed, fed the other two clips through the holes that were set up that are basically back in here. And so we can, we've fed those already through so we can connect all those to the bar on the inside as well. So now that we've got this in here, uh, come on, almost, there we go. All right, so now we've got that there and this there. We've got the bar basically hooked up there. We can now bring this around and of course, as with everything foam, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get it on there. Then we can straighten out the fabric once we get it on there. And then this one goes up here onto that one right there. And now we can take and go ahead and uh, put on the screws. And we're not going to completely tighten this up until we get the seat down because you notice that the seat is pulling up because we haven't got it all the way pulled down. You can see as we pull this down here that that's going to straighten out these here. So we're going to put the nuts on there just to keep these in place, but we're not going to tighten anything yet. All right, just a quick reminder that this is a good time before we finish putting on the seat cover in the front to go ahead and put this screw back in place. And then to, if you remember, we had to take that screw out to take get this out here 
And so you can go ahead and put that back on and that'll hold that in place while we're doing all the rest of the work so as that we're not creating any additional difficulty with the, uh, with the cable. All right, so now it's time to start stretching the uh, leather and getting it all secured. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that for a little while. At this point now, we've got the seat basically on. We've got the hog clips uh, on the front side taken care of. We've been working on the back. We've got the uh, airbag cable back uh, into uh, the little plastic piece there. We've got the headrest connector here uh, on, on this plate where it was before. And we've got all of the uh, pieces now. We're ready to put this piece back into place, which basically goes uh, down and covers all this stuff up here. So that's basically where we're at at this point. Uh, we cut holes in the back of both the top and the bottom to feed the heaters through. And so we've got the heater wires there. So we'll talk about how we connect those up here uh, in a little bit. But that's where we're at now. So now we're going to just finish wrapping this up and uh, getting this zipped up. All right, to do the next part, we're going to start putting the uh, covers back onto the seat. Um, on this side, on the side opposite the uh, switches. Now, by the way, we put some blocks underneath the uh, other side so that the switches aren't being uh, jammed into the tabletop and breaking any of the switches. So you want to be sure you uh, protect those switches when you flip your uh, seat over. Now, we've got to get this, this part right here hooks onto this tab and this uh, plastic insert has to go through this hole. All right, like much of this, uh, these seats and putting these covers on, it takes two people. So after we kind of work this over to get this part on, remember this part here has to go underneath here and then you've got this push pin here. We've cut a slot for the push pin to go, but you want to make sure that the push pin is underneath the leather. It needs to be right up against the, uh, the metal and not ha have the uh, leather holding it out. So now that we've got the, uh, this cover put on, we can now put the cable back in and put the seat belt uh, attachment back in place. And now don't forget to put the screw back in that goes right back there and then this side will now be complete. All right, so we already showed you how to put the uh, control block back in place and put the electrical connection there. Now this has the exact same situation the other one had. It has a flat tab and an alignment hole here and here to line that up. And then you've got your screw here in the back that you need to put on. And then there's a couple of screws that go on here over the uh, control panel which we'll show you after we get the rest of this put together. So after you get the uh, plastic all put in, don't forget to put this rear screw in to hold the plastic properly aligned. You'll probably find that it wants to sit down in a little bit, so you might have to pull it up. And then you've got the two screws that go back into the uh, control block here to hold that piece in place. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and put the uh, control handles back in. Oh. All right, so you'll notice they're indexed. So the big one will only go in one way. So if it's not falling in place one way, then you need to turn it around and it'll fall in place the other way. So don't try and force it if it's not just lining up properly. Same thing with the little one, if it's not just falling in place, then you don't have it right. So now we've got that part all attached and ready to go. We now have the front cover to put on. All right, now there's three slots. We kind of talked about it when we took it apart. And these three pin, uh, items that need to uh, go into those three slots there. And then you've got the two screws. This one goes here, this one goes there. So. We'll now line these pieces up and get them all lined up and snap those into place. 
Then we can put in our screw there and our screw here and we'll basically have it completed. Okay, now before we buckle up the uh, seat for the final time and hook everything up, let's just make sure we haven't broken anything in our assembly. So go ahead and get your uh, meter in there. Oops. Go ahead and get your, there we go. And you wanna be able to see an ohm reading of about five, ohm, about five ohms, which is right. And then you wanna be able to see about five ohms on this one as well. So we haven't broken anything on the seat and the heaters are all intact and complete in the way we put them all together. Now to get the uh, headrest on, uh, you're gonna need to do a, a slight X cut here, trim the pieces off so it's just slightly smaller than what you've got here, then stretch that down and around and then using a screwdriver or something, kind of pull that back up so it fits nice and snugly on uh, there and looks nice and professional. And uh, that's just one of, one of, like many of the other holes we had to add, that's just another set that they expect you to do on your own. All right, so what we've done now at this point is if you remember earlier, we pulled the wire through the back of the uh, dash panel here. We ran it, if I can get out of the way here, we ran it up through the carpet along this ridge, down under here, and back out where this cable comes out. So now we've got our cable all ready to go. And so at this point, we're ready to put the seat back in and finish uh, zip tying this together in, under the seat. Now we're gonna zip tie this part of it. We're gonna zip tie this part of it permanently under the seat. Well, zip tie isn't permanent, but we're gonna zip, put this part permanently under the seat. And that'll leave this to uh, come loose when anyone needs to pull the seat. So this will also be tied up just to keep the cable all nice and neat. But uh, it's a, an access point just like these are access points so that you can get the seat out of the car. So now we're getting ready to do the connection, the electrical connections. The seat's leaning a little too far back so we've got to kind of pull it forward just a little bit and lean it down. The main cable, we re-taped this connector that we had to cut earlier so that we can connect it right there. Then we just need to start plugging everything back into where it belongs. So this one that's being a little bit difficult is gonna go right there. Ah, oh, come on, get around there. So that's, that goes in there. The white one goes in there. The, uh, the airbag goes there. And this one, what we're gonna do is I'm going to just, to keep it a little neater, I'm gonna just tape this a little bit on a uh, I'm gonna just run a little bit of tape around here just to kind of keep it a little more organized mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then that will plug in to that spot right there so now we have our seat heater all lined up. So now we can go ahead and drop the seat back into place. Get the alignment pins lined up and it'll drop into place. And now we've completed everything except for bolting the uh, seat back in place. And after we get the bolts on, we'll reconnect the battery because remember you disconnect the battery whenever you're dealing with uh, <coughs> airbags and then we'll turn on the switches and make sure everything warms up. So it's a warm day here in Arizona. We've got everything all buckled up. We've got the uh, heaters on. We're gonna check to see and make sure they're actually warming. So we're running right about 99 uh, there on the center panel. We drop it down onto the seat. We're running at 115 
On the uh, back seat, we're running at 116. And if we go on up to the headrest, we're back to 97. All right, so this has been a successful installation. Uh, and we've demonstrated that the heaters actually work and we're good to go. Well, now you've seen how we add leather seats along with heaters to the seats of, a, uh, of this particular vehicle, the Tacoma that we've been working on. You'll notice that it's just a bit time consuming and maybe a little bit of a big oomph here and there in order to get the uh, covers on right. And it's something that's doable. You just have to be patient and make sure you just slowly work things on but you've got to be very, very careful, as we've noted in the video, about not cutting any of the elements on the heaters so as that you don't destroy the heaters and make them uh, so they're not functioning. Uh, hopefully this has been a valuable uh, lesson for you. Uh, we appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and the like button and look below for the tools and uh, equipment and parts that we've used in doing this video. Thank you very much and have a good day.